In this video, I want to have a little fun. Uh, I'm going to do something here I've never done before. I don't know how this is going to turn out, but if you remember, we did a dowel joint demonstration in the previous video, and these are the pieces of wood here that we joined. And as you recall, they're connected with two 3 8 inch, two inch long fluted dowels like this, and it's glued in place. So I just wanted to see how strong this was in, in some numerical way. And that's what, that's the setup I've got here. I've got a, a scale which goes up to 440 pounds of pull and it's anchored over here. There's a strap clamp that I'm going to tighten up and the other end of the arrangement hooks on here. So I really don't know what's going to happen. I, know, I, I hope something's going to break. I hope I can pull it far enough to break and then we can see what's going on here on the scale while we do that. I'm curious to see just where this is going to fail and I, I really don't know where that's going to be. I should say before we get going, I have never seen a dowel joint fail. So in, in normal practice, it's not like it's, you know, it's iffy or, you know, just barely strong enough. It's a great strong joint and very versatile, but everything does have its limits. So let's just explore the limits here. Now, as I said, the, the scale goes up to 440 pounds, but of course there's a lot more force than that that's being applied to the joint here because of the leverage involved. I'm not sure how many times that figure would multiply you know, through this piece here, but well, let's just crank it up and, and see what's going to happen. Um, I've got another, in case you're wondering about this thing, I've got another camera here so we can get the footage directly from the scale as we as we uh, start pulling. But uh, let's fire that camera up and uh, see what breaks first. So this um, blue thing here is called a strap clamp. I actually use clamps like this quite a bit for woodworking. Uh, they're, they're very useful. But uh, let's just see what happens here. So I'm cranking this up now. We're getting some bending. Now we've got 80 pounds of force applied. So far, 100. Oh, where, where did it break? Let's just pull it apart here. Now, isn't that interesting? Oh, look at that. Well, let's take it out here and take a, take a closer look. So it basically just pulled straight out. It pulled straight out. It, it tore some of the wood. Let's see if I can get it completely apart. Wow, it's still quite solid. Huh? Oh, there we go. Well, it started to, to break that one. It basically pulled out this dowel, broke the wood that just happened to be incidentally glued between the dowels, and then sheared that one off as well. But So it broke at about 120 pounds of pull, worked through the leverage of this length of wood. So as I said, I don't know how much force was on here, but that was way more than would ever be applied to this sort of a joint, and especially that kind of uh, bending as well. The, the bending really added a lot of stress to it. But as you can see, a good strong joint and, um, and nice and reliable. Never broke a dowel joint in real life, in my experience, but now we know at least what this one could, could do.